What's up YouTube, N0 here, and it's been a while since I've done uh, any openings, just because, pan, you know, just the situation that's going on with the world has, effect, has affected, like, shipping and production of games and, and other products, so, uh, finally, my, my, my trial decks came in. Which is great, cause uh, man, I it's been a while since I've opened anything. Cause last thing I ordered, it took like two months to get to my house, just because it was low priority as far as shipping. So hopefully I can uh, get the next stage boosters, extra boosters, and also there's a thing going on where uh, depending on what's online store or regular card shop if you get all three trial decks you get a like a promo pack with PG's in it uh, from from each of the trial decks so it's cool it's an upgrade in rarity at least or the hollow effect so if you get three trial each of the trial decks you'll probably pick up one of these packs depending on the store that is so uh, so I'm going to open all three of these at, in, uh, in one video, so let's uh, start with the Chrono Jet one, trial deck uh, 10. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've opened something. I've been too busy working because I'm one of those jobs that is essential, even though uh, technically I'm not, but they say I'm essential, or our job is essential, so. Alright, so I think there's an upgrade in the rules, because of the whole, uh, command, like, those extra cards that we get. Uh, order cards, so. Yeah, that's, that's a new feature for this series, I guess. Vanguard VG, I guess. It's still V series, but uh, we've reached the G area, G era in cards. I'm super excited for uh, the Rummy Labyrinth one. Can't wait for that one. So uh, here we go. The Chrono Jet one. No, the Chrono Gear Chronicle deck. So. Hollow Chrono Jet Dragon, uh, Strobo, Strobo Scope Dragon, and Gears Repeater. Here's the Gear Grade 4s. Uh, what makes this special is uh, they c you can only superior ride it, and it is a triple drive, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the rest of the copies of Chrono Jet Dragon. Uh, Steam Gunner Yarga Galanda. Uh, more of the St Strobo Scope Dragon. Steam Fighter Czar Lab. Steam Fighter Edina. Or Edena. Uh, there's a random allotment of cards on the bottom. Because Normally, the, the these trial decks um, put everything together, but they put like the fourth card of each card, uh, fourth card of each set, on the bottom, so you can know which one you might get hollow. And we got uh, three, the rest of our gears repeater. Uh, Bearing Rover, he looks really cool. He's like a mini version of. Uh, next stage, which I really like. He's probably a good card to have in the Gear Chronicle deck. Alright, two PGs. Uh, the Steam Janitor Glitlim. Got Crits. Uh, uh, just a common PG draw trigger, which is nice. So, Makes things, it, it 
it makes it easier for you know people to get their draw trigger PGs that are desperately needed. All right, new art for the draw trigger. Another new draw trigger uh, unit. Lucky Pot Draco Kid, which I think this one looks way better. And we got a new healer or heal trigger. Uh, Steam Maiden Uluru, which uh, pretty good card I think. Looks really good. I'll probably I'll probably main these ones. All right, here's the order card. Uh, it's a blitz order. When one of your attack units gets 500 f until the end of the battle. So, uh, this means it happens during the guard step. And this doesn't even need to be, in, uh, it's not in the deck. It's kind of where your, you know, your, uh, your force markers would go. So, that's pretty cool. This would be really good for protect decks. It would actually be a protecting. So we're on the cards that could potentially be hollowed. So Phoenix, Steam Gunner, Czar Lab, Adina, Glitlim, Chronodran. He's the the new starter of this uh, this deck. Uh, crit triggers, Draco Kid. Uluru. We got Power Rise Elixir. I guess this could be potentially hollow. So one of your units gets 20 or Counter Blasts. One of your units gets 20,000 or 20k until the end of the turn. So that's pretty cool. And our hollow is Bearing Rover, which is pretty cool. I, I do like him, and it's pretty cool that it's a, it comes in a hollow. So. Yeah, so that's the Chrono Jet, Jet Dragon. Oh, one of the things that they did was uh, they put the Force Markers uh, back to back, which is, I, I figured that's what they should have been doing since the introduction to Force Markers 2, or Force 2 and Excel 2 and Guard Protect 2. That's what they should have been doing, to be honest, so. So that's the Chrono Jet Dragon deck, which is pretty cool. I really, I'm really excited to make this. I'm going to order another set of decks, so that way I can make the Chrono Jet Dragon deck and get the rest of my PGs. All right, next up is the Alt Mile deck, Trial Deck Eleven. This is probably going to be a long video, but it's okay. Alt Mile was pretty interesting. Uh, I do wish that the Brave, or like the term, one of the terms that, like the key key words, I guess, was uh, Brave. I think it was, and I like the mechanic of the Brave keyword. Thought it was really cool. All right, so for this, the star of this deck is Blue Sky Knight Alt Mile. He's a hollow, absolute knight Leverot, and lunar crescent knight Felax, and uh, here's the rest of our alt miles. These are the guaranteed hollows. Uh, Unite Reet Dragon. Uh, the rest of our absolute knight blade knight uh, Leverot. Uh, Knight of Magnificence, Lucus, Lucos, uh, Sage of Con Contemplatement, Contemplatement, Tiden, uh, Pioneer Knight, uh, Epaticus, Lunar Crescent Knight, Felix, the rest of these, uh, the Grade One PG with the better ability. Uh, Melodious Angel 
and we got crit triggers our common draw or draw PG our new draw trigger uh, unit bringer of the court's favor rega regala and our new heal trigger art which is healing Pegasus which I think this is probably better to be honest I like this this art way better than uh, the original PG all right we got another quick shield which I wonder how common these uh, these order cards are gonna be all right these are the cards that are potentially hollow so might be a trigger unit actually oh this is our starter uh, Shining Knight Milius no no trigger so no power elixir and uh, Knight of Magnificence Lucus is the hollow so that's interesting the sad thing is, is this is one of those cards where I would kinda just leave in storage this would be definitely up for trade and our force markers would double sided so uh, at the end I'll probably rank them on how cool the decks are as far as uh, abilities so so yeah that was the alt mile deck um, it's a good if you really if you really want to make a, a royal paladin deck uh, and you can't get the stuff for Blaster Blade, I definitely go with Blue Sky Knight Alt Mile. Alt Mile is pretty good. And our last one, uh, the Asha deck, Trial Deck 12. Not a not always a big fan of Neo Nectar, but I always thought Asha was a different story because of the in the G era, her the Bloom ability was I thought was broken, especially because because uh, of uh, the fact that she always had like four copies of everything she needed. All right, so here's the Asha deck. I thought this one was kind of. Uh, when I was looking at the cards, I thought this one was extremely OP. But, uh, well, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out when the meta comes back. Alright, our guarantee hollows are Asha. Renunculus Flower Maiden Asha. Uh, Blossoming Maiden Sela. And Budding Maiden Diane. So that's pretty cool. Alright, here's the rest of our Ashas. Uh, Glint Teal Knight Orvel. The rest of our Cellas. Uh, Candid Maiden Marley's. Maiden of Bot Fist. Which looks really cool, actually. Uh, the rest of our Budding Maiden Diane. Maiden of Blue Lace. Uh, Mimosa Peach, which is a pretty cute looking card. Uh, our PG, our Grade One PGs. Uh, Night Musketeer, Night Queen Musketeer Daniel, Chestnut Bullet, and our new Draw Trigger PG, or not PG, our new Draw Trigger uh, Neighborly Knight Boris, which actually looks really good. Get a common version of our draw trigger PG, and our new uh, heal trigger uh, fairy light dragon, which I would use this for an Arboros deck because it fits the whole forest dragon theme. Our quick shield, uh, some tokens. Uh, this token art was originally in the uh, ultra rare, I think. And here's our Asha Flower Tokens, which are pretty cool. It's cool that you get three of them, at least. 
So, uh, yeah, this one I thought was, uh, was pretty OP because the Asha token pretty much, uh, copies the whole time the Ash the, the original Asha unit, like, it copies it the whole time, at least when it attacks, so, like, every trigger you get from this Asha, the token will get later, too. So, I thought that was really cool. So, plus the tokens look pretty cool, in my opinion. Alright, so the cards that can potentially be hollow. Marley Spot Fist. Blue Minion Lace. Uh, this is our starter for this one. Uh... Spring Heralding Maiden Ozu. So, it's a pretty cool card. Alright, I don't think the triggers are going to be it. Uh, Power Rise Elixir. And it looks like Mimosa Peach is our hollow, which is pretty cool. Uh, and our back, our reversible force markers. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, this is a pretty good deck. I think if I had to rank them on how well they'll be used, I'd say in third place would be Alt Mile. I'll put Alt Mile up here. Second place would be uh, Gear Chrono Jet Dragon, and then first place, as far as like utility goes, like I think everybody's gonna go for the Asha deck because of how powerful it can be, potentially be. I know Gear Chronicle is a very popular one and Alt Mile, given that it's not as po like popular as Blaster Blade builds, uh, you can definitely incorporate Blaster Blade into, uh, or Alt Mile into Blaster Blade, but Blaster Blade is just, uh, they have so much variety as far as deck building. We'd have to wait and see it until the meta comes back. But yeah, I'd rank it as uh, third place, second place, and first place. And normally I'm not a Neo Nectar player, but I will definitely make an Asha deck. And I'm going to work on making a second uh, Gear Chronicle deck. Because I, uh, I have the Chrono Tiger, Chrono Fang Tiger deck. So. Yeah, I guess that will be it for this video. Um, I want to. I've been trying to see if I can order the next stage extra booster, but everybody's selling them super expensive, and they're not. They're not in stock in a lot of stores. So, um, so when I get them, I'll get them. Uh, uh, sorry for not uploading more frequently. I've been on Twitch recently, since it's just easier to, you know, do that. Playing games such as Pokemon, such as Minecraft, such as Monster in the World, and other stuff. So, uh, if you want to check me out over there, be sure to go over there. <laughs> go to twitch.tv slash n0 underscore uh, x. You can find me there. And uh, I'll just be playing games, whatever. You can chat. You can chat about pretty much anything, honestly. So, uh, But yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one whenever the shipping is not so bad and people have uh, boosters on in stock. So, uh, yep, see you in the next time. <laughs>